fun friends this is janet with photography makes and today i am making a um, some fall themed tags and i'm using this graphic 45 ephemera pack called autumn greetings but i really wanted to show you how beautiful this ephemera pack is so we've got these large postage stamps i think this is a whole strip here look at how cute the little squirrel is <laughs> little bird a fox we've got autumn leaves and pumpkins please how cute is that there's some little um, acorns and leaves flowers pumpkins of course pumpkins my stamp store did have the paper to go with it but i felt that um it was really busy look how cute this fox is i think he's my favorite um look at here some flowers i think you can bend those up and make those really pretty here's like a a really beautiful fall colored like garland i guess pumpkins please oh my gosh look at this little fawn <laughs> he's so cute or doe i guess okay um fawn right uh, autumn is a gentle reminder. Change can be beautiful. Pretty leaves, acorns. Oh my gosh, look at the little squirrel. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, and then we've got more small things. Gather and be grateful. Some small little pumpkins. But I love fall most of all. Oh my gosh, that's so true. All right, hold on. Let's dig down. We got some... Um, Look at some really pretty leaf bundles. Um, hello, Autumn. Oh, look how cute. He's so sweet. We have a lot of red fox in my area, actually. People complain about them. I think they're really pretty. I've also seen a, a white deer in my area as well, which is unusual. Look at how big this guy is. I don't know if my tags are big enough for him. Oh, how beautiful would that be? And then these are some of the others. So, um, I'm not sure if you guys want to come along and uh, watch me make some tags, but I think I'm going to um, uh, probably record it and put some music on. I also grabbed this from my um, craft store. This is the Better Press Society. This is for October. And it's called Cozy Fireplace. But how cute is that? With the little chair and the tree. And these are all separate. So I can do the chair and the trees on a separate thing. And then the fireplace with the stars is all one plate. And then it has the two sentiments. Sending warmth, love, and Chris enjoy this Christmas. And Merry Christmas from our hearth to yours. Okay, let's get crafting. Let's see what we can make with these um, cute little ephemera pieces. I decided to come back on and talk about, I think I'm going to be using these Better Press plates as well. These are also from the Better Press Society. Um, I did join the club for the year so I could um, get some Better Press plates. And I like the unpredictability of them, I guess. I don't have a lot of subscriptions anymore um, as far as craft supplies go. Uh, and I'm only doing this until the end of the year. But this was, I think... August and it's really beautiful it's called raining pumpkins and it came with a stencil so I thought this would be fun to make together this is what it looks like how pretty um, I'll be using distress oxide inks for that because I have the full collection of color for those so I can find any color that I need to go with this um, ephemera pack um, and then I also have this one, which is called um, Layer Leaf Prints, which I think would be kind of cute to do um, these little leaves, like a little subtle background. I don't know. Like, I want to make these interesting because um, they are for a swap. This was the additional small leaves. It has like a little wheat stalk or um, uh, a cattail. He's not very big. He's just this here. Um, but sometimes it's like too much layering and then you lose the essence of the background if you're going to take all this time to make a background. Uh, it's like the one thing I hate about about that. But anyways, um, 
I also wanted to share like I have a couple different colors that would go with this probably like this cruise the tiger um, definitely the clay uh, the bark with the brown even this azalea might be pretty in there the apricot would definitely match and these are all available on Spellbinders. <clears throat> I don't know what all the names of the things are. These ones are packaged. This one says Jet Set and Tropical. But I have all these inks so I can pick kind of what I want for colors. But I think that I will probably be doing... Uh, oh, even, this, even this Tuscan. Oh, that would probably be so pretty. Like a little yellow. Oh my gosh, look at these beautiful fall colors. I love this. Um, I'm going to open this up. Um, this cruise green color. There's this third one down, I think. Look how pretty is that? Can you tell? Oh, it looks so green on here. <laughs> I wonder what it looks like. We'll just swipe it. Okay, so I just wanted to jump in on that because um, I don't know if any of you are interested or have bought a better press and have been using it i do use it on occasion i find it really easy to do and um <clears throat> i just wanted to show that it's a fun option if you are trying to make a little bit of a background that won't take a lot of time and is impressive you know so let's i'm gonna do this and uh, we'll see if we like it all right stick around Okay, now that I finished my better press, that's how it turned out. What do you guys think? I used uh, four different colors. And some of them I added, like, some of the color on top of it. But I think now we are going to um, age this a little bit with the Vintage Photo Distress Oxide around the edges. I am cutting this down because this paper actually doesn't fit the entirety of the tag. But I want to kind of make this a little more not grungy but like not as bright so I'm gonna go in and just I'm using a little makeup brush here that I got from Dollar Tree forever ago and actually I just did a whole uh, 
bunch of cleaning on these so they're not as <laughs> stiff as they were. They're actually quite soft at the moment. Okay, I don't think I have any other colors pulled like orange or anything. No, I've got like dark brown. I don't think I want to do, I don't want to do a darker brown. We could, I guess. So this is the ground espresso here. We'll add just a little bit. I haven't played with my inks in forever, so it kind of feels really good to do this right now. <laughs> um, so the card, the, the tag base is actually, it's not a card, it's a tag base. I'm using, are these Prima uh, Memory Hardware, is what they're called, from Frank Garcia. The artisan adhesive tags, and they come in a set of 12, and they're nice, like, thick chipboard. And what's cool is that this top layer here, this is the back, but this top layer is a sticker. So I'm going to adhere this to that. And then cut it down, I think. I was going to trace it and then try to line it up, but I think I'm just going to adhere it down. And I realize that this part is going to be exposed with adhesive, which is fine. I think I'm going to add trim to the top of this or something because obviously my tag isn't as big. But I'm just playing today. I have no plan and that's okay. <laughs> I think we're going to set this up like this. And we're going to press this down and I'm going to use my X-Acto knife. I think that'd be the easiest. Make sure that's tight and I'm just going to slice this on up. So this um, paper that I use for the better press is also made for the better press. So it's like a um, watercolor cardstock. So it's a bit thick. So this whole thing is going to be nice, nice and thick. I'm going to, um, ooh, I could add glitter. Should I add glitter to this top? Yep. I'm going to add glitter. Should I add brown glitter? Uh, man, so many options. None of you can answer yes or no. So aggravating. Uh, let's see. I've got, let's see, what is this? This is fired brick. Here, this is probably what I want. Extra fine. And it's like this um, copper color. Yeah, let's do that. I don't have a lot of glitter, but I think this will be good. We'll do the shaker side. Oh, glitter. It's so messy. Okay, I'm gonna use my finger and press it in. I was not planning on using glitter today, but here we are. <laughs> okay, we're gonna rub this really good because it looks like most of this wants to flake off. It does, that's okay. Okay, and I got a whole line here, so let's get got this little paintbrush that I use. We're gonna rub that along this line. Okay. Actually, you know what else we could have done? It was um foil. Foil probably would have looked really cool in there too. But can you see that? It has like a little flash of the glitter now. I like that. Okay, let's carefully put this back in the jar. Nobody breathe. All right. And I'm going to take this and fold it up and throw it away. And cover that really quick before I knock it over. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I feel like for me, the background sometimes is the hardest part. I'm going to take my brush here and do the edges really quick again because we cut them off. I'm just using whatever's on my brush. I'm trying to think if there's any other tools that I might have that can get this glitter out of there, but I think it's just going to be my brush for now. 
in my finger. Okay, what do you guys think so far? I'm really liking it. All right, so I picked out the ephemera I wanna use and I know I gave away a piece of string that would have been, or a ribbon that would have been perfect for this, but, oh, did I throw all the pieces I wanted back? I did, it's okay. So this is what I wanna do right now. I also have like something like this. That could be fun. Let's turn on my hot glue gun. I like adding um, texture with um, stuff like this. This is cheesecloth or uh, pieces of vellum. Here's a piece of vellum. This is all just laying on my desk. Um, look at it, like kind of makes it a little softer. Like that could be interesting. Even if I cut this little piece, maybe, I don't know. I'm just playing. I'm just looking at what I have and just using it here. So I've got lots of things on my desk. So we can move this even over to the side here. And we could like use a piece of strip adhesive. So we'd hot glue this down. And then we've got all these beautiful ephemera pieces that we can layer. I think we're going to stick this guy up here like this and layer that on top. You know, add this to the bottom. Maybe foil a leaf up this way. I don't know. What do you think? I'm loving this. See, but it's, ma it's masking all my beautiful background I just made. That's what I'm talking about. I hate doing this stuff, and then you can't see it. It always makes me so sad. <laughs> so we can even alter, put them kind of on this side. So you can see some of this green over here because it's really pretty. Just a peek of it, that's okay, that makes me happy. And then layer this like that. What do you think? I'm loving that. Okay, and then we're gonna find a strip of ribbon for this top piece, but I think for right now, I also have like these little sunflowers. I could probably add these. I've got two left. But yeah, I just encourage you to play. Use what you have on your desk. So we're going to put this off to the side. So I'm going to glue, I'm going to put this mounting tape on this side of this. Um, we're going to call him a deer because that's what he is. We might do double. Should we do double? I want to make sure that there's some space between the background and this piece. I'm going to pop up his head too. You can use, um, you know, the kids' foam for this. It'll save you a little bit of money. Yeah, that's nice. I can put a put one behind his ear. Okay. I can probably put another strip right here. I just want to feel it out because I don't want I don't want the. Uh, I don't want this to hang over my tag. I think that's enough space. I don't think we're going to do two. I think two would be too much. So before we do that, I want to kind of adhere some of these to the background. So we're going to kind of eyeball it a little bit. And honestly, I'm going to just use hot glue for this. Because I think it'll be the quickest and easiest way to do that. And because of the, the cloth here. I also need to load another glue stick in a minute. Okay, we've got that. Pumpkin post stamp, postage stamp. Let's see. I want to put them right to the edge. So maybe I want this pumpkin to be raised up. So we're going to add some adhesive to him. Have you guys been making... Um, you guys been making some harvest stuff? Yeah, I think that'll be good. So we're just going to kind of place them there. And then this piece, uh, I kind of want him to go that way. I'm just going to glue the bottom piece here. Boop. Oh, yeah. What do you guys think? Do you love this so far? Okay, let's glue this 
We're going to use a little bit of hot glue on top of this mounting tape. Because I have no idea how old this stuff is. It's honestly something I bought at like um, a craft garage sale. And then I never pulled it out to use it. So, <laughs> All right, we have one chance. So I'm going to place him like that. I think that feels pretty good. I'm going to flip him over. Just kind of press him for a second. Okay. And then we're going to add the sunflowers. And then I think if I have any... I know I do. Um, <clears throat> I was going to say jemmies. That are fall colored. Look, at I have this leaf too. Is it too late to stick this in there somewhere? Does it even go? I have all these dyes that would be perfect for this. I'm going to put a bead of glue here. I'm going to stick this right on top of the, the ephemera piece. So this is all nice and smooth. It's not going to come off. This actually is going to work perfect. This is old. Um... I don't even know what this is called, but it's kind of like the satin with the little stitches kind of hanging out of it. And we're just going to glue right across that. So we're going to stick this down and cut it off. Really carefully bead of glue. Use my finger here. It also takes some of the access away. I like that. I kind of want to wrap it around. <laughs> I wasn't going to cover the back. Um, I could. I could totally run it through the back here. I'm going to get a little bead of glue whoop, right across the back. I'm going to fold this over. Then we're going to take this and fold this over. And then I'm just going to cut it. Because I am going to put, um, I have one of these, I already, it's purple, but I have one of these already stamped out. I think that's all it's going to need on the back. Oh, I need to, um, I lied. I have to, um, I forgot, that's part of the perimeters. I have to put a pocket. Okay, so I finished my tag. This is the final result. So we have this ephemera piece here with the dimensional sunflowers and the glitter top. And then I added this piece of ribbon, or lace, I should say. And then this is the back, and I, I made a little envelope, which I'm going to put a little gift card in. And um, I added some of the ephemera. So that is my finished tag. I had so much fun making this. I am excited to make the others. I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye.